What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, I got a question for you. You ever see a superstar use a move so much that it becomes their signature and a lot of times ends up becoming their finisher? That's what we're going to talk about. I'm Jay Brown with the Frey Five, and tonight we're talking about traditional moves turned into finishers. So when Kane came on into the scene, he was pretty much mimicking the Undertaker's moves. And that included the choke slam as a transitional move and finishing off your opponents with a tombstone. Now at some point the pile driver was banned in WWE and that included the tombstone pile driver. So while the Undertaker had the last ride to circumvent this, Kane would relent to using the choke slam as a finisher and that would be his go-to pretty much for the rest of his career. Booker T introduced the bookend in WCW and first started using it as a transitional move, but then it became his go-to finisher. However, that would be short-lived as the scissors kick would be his main go-to move for the most of his tenure in WWE. I'm not exactly sure, but this could be due to the similarities between the bookend and the rock bottom. So I wouldn't necessarily call this one a transitional move, but more of an accident. Drew was simply going for a big boot, but some tight ass leather pants had him inadvertently lift his other leg up, and this resulted in a very devastating looking move that eventually propelled him to great success. Yes, we all know him as Matt Cardona in AEW now, but in WWE, Zack Ryder had a transitional move called Rough Rider and a finisher called the Zack Attack. As his career went on, we would see the Zack Attack disappear and the Rough Rider will become his go-to finisher. So, if you want to know what the Zack Attack looked like, that's pretty much protect your neck that Mia Yim does nowadays. And I just have to say, I'm so glad he decided to keep that beard because I was actually trying to look at some photos to use for this video of him and I saw one without the beard and this dude looked exactly like Homelander and now I cannot unsee that. Now a lot of the younger crowd might not know this but Shawn Michaels started using what would become the Sweet Chin Music as a transitional move first before executing the Teardrop Suplex which was his finisher. But Pat Patterson would convince HBK that the kick had more of an impact as a finisher, and Sean never looked back. As saturated as the super kick seems nowadays, Sean made it look iconic, and in my opinion, made it one of the original out of nowhere moves. So years before Otis made his Caterpillar version famous, Scotty Too Hotty would introduce the worm as a transitional move to his Too Cool gimmick. Even though his finisher was a jumping DDT from the top rope, the worm got so over with the crowd that it would eventually become his finisher. And they only used the rear view as a transitional move first, and it would eventually become her finisher. Honestly, I never saw this move ever effective to put somebody down for a three count. And the only reason that even looks devastating is for the simple fact that Naomi is caked up and caked out. Now I wonder who's going to kill me for that comment first, Jimmy Uso or my wife? Yes, the people's elbow started off as a transitional move. According to folks like Triple H, the theatrics that The Rock would do came from The Rock trying to make The Undertaker laugh during a house show. But everything with the move got so over with the crowd that it will eventually be known as the most electrifying move in sports entertainment today. So it grew from being a precursor to the rock bottom to being a finisher all on its own. Do you know of any more traditional moves turned to finishers that could have been added to this list? If so, you can let me know in the comments, whether it's uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit. Just let me know in the comments. Uh, we can talk about it or we can even make another list. Hi, good night.